kindness and to know someone inside out. Sharon Hornells from here. Welcome to day 1610 of What You Up To Now, documenting the journey as I personally transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. In 2017, following my divorce, and the divestiture and the separation of all of our business assets and things. We had lots of different businesses together, my ex-husband and I. I decided that I wanted to do something totally different than I'd ever done. I wanted to explore a whole new industry, a whole new world, and so I decided I would join the online world and, and pop on the internet. I'd always been curious about it. It had been being developed and came into existence during my uh, corporate career, actually. The internet came around, uh, after my son was born and so as I was raising my family I was working in corporate America and I had businesses on the side for over a quarter century I spent in corporate America working for some amazing companies learned so much about businesses and corporations and big businesses and how the world of work works uh, where I fit into that or didn't fit into that uh, as a woman and an engineer etc uh, and as a manager and leader and I, I honed a lot of skills in corporate America and then I decided finally after over about a quarter century of that that I'd been running businesses on the side and I wanted to I'd learned enough I knew enough I wanted to, to branch out on my own and, and just do things on my own and so that's what I did so I've been involved in at least 27 different industries offline and businesses as an owner or primary owner and op not always operator but owner and operator in many of them so it's given me a different perspective as I came online than a lot of other people have it's also been a huge hindrance in terms of the expectations I had of myself and what I would and wouldn't do and could and couldn't do online uh, which led me down lots of little shiny object syndrome it's called online different trails different roads doing different things some that work for me some that I tried on but they just didn't feel right so I, I abandoned and stopped doing them and other things that I morphed and put pieces together like I did offline to create my own things the things that I feel good working on projects I feel good about doing and that that resonate with me you know that whole what feels good to you resonates with you Thing. We have to have that as a component in what we're doing, or at least over the long time. Over the short term, we can do different things, but over the long, time, long term, uh, we have to do things that are in alignment with who we are and what we want to do and how we want to show up in the world. So today, I create a couple pieces of content every day. One is a, is a piece of content. I usually take an idiom. An, an idiom is something that means something different when the words are, are taken separately than when they're put together. And it usually comes from uh, common use and common behavior. It's kind of like slang uh, in many respects. Different types of slang come in and out of popularity. Well, different sayings and idioms come in and out of popularity as well. Some have been around for centuries. Some are relatively new. Today is to know someone inside out is from the 16th century it popped out and was first appeared in writing in about 1600 so it's hundreds of years old it's centuries old guess what anything that's hundreds of years old has impacted almost everyone on the planet whether at a conscious or a subconscious level because it's had the opportunity to impact so many people so what does it mean to know somebody inside out it means to know them very very well and I showed a a shirt inside out because I have a little trick that I use in my closet since I do content every day I don't want to wear the same outfit the same shirts over and over and over again so pretty much only ever see my shirts in my videos so as I could stand up and do full body videos but I require a whole new set a whole new scene and it's not really that important I'm short I, I wouldn't be much different than the top of me so I have a trick where I hang things in my closet once I've used it and I've used this worn this shirt a couple times in videos once I've done it once or twice, I will turn it inside out in my closet because it's a shirt I love and I want to keep. Love the colors, love the shirt, love the style. So I'm not going to get rid of it because I wore it in a video, but I also don't want to wear it over and over and over again in my videos. Now when I was being and showing up as pajama grandma, I only had about 30 or 40 robes. So I cycled them through and you saw me in the same robes often. But since I'm not showing up and that's not my really in my identity anymore, and I don't identify as much with pajama grandma since COVID. Nobody wanted to be home stuck in their robe. Prior to that, people wanted to have a, a laptop lifestyle and they wanted to be able to work anywhere from, 
until they all got a huge taste of it and some people love it and still want to do it forever and other people wanted to go back to want to go back to the office despite what the media says lots of people want to go back to work again and go back to the way their life was before the covid stuff i'll just call it covid stuff so our idiom was to know someone inside out. I talked about the four groups of people that we really need to know inside out, uh, whether we know it or not on a conscious level as we're building and growing and supersizing our business through the different stages. That's ourself, key individuals, partners, uh, key people that we bring in to help us build our business. Our customers, we need to know them very well, and our competitors and what's going on in our industry and in our environment. And I'm sure there's more, but those are the four categories that I look at on a routine basis. Our topic today for our annual challenge, our BU 365 day challenge, is kindness. And so I talked about the, the benefits of kindness, the five primary benefits of kindness, as well as I shared my lovely brainstorm list of random acts of kindness that I just could, could think up off the top of my head because our action item today is to just do a random act of kindness for someone. And it can be as big or as small as you want, but it can be as simple as acknowledging someone for a, a job well done, for smi as smiling at someone, or paying it forward at a drive-thru, or, or buying groceries and donating them, or donating things that you're not using anymore. Anything. But the more acts of kindness that we do, it's one of the simplest and easiest ways to make the world a better place, right? It's it's easy, doesn't really take any more energy, and it actually has an ancillary benefit of making us feel good. When we're kind to other people, it it, pay, it it's contagious. It pays it forward in the world, and it automatically makes the world a better place. We always have the opportunity to choose to be kind or not. We don't have to say that thing. We don't have to comment on that social media post that we don't agree with. We can just scroll by. That is an act of kindness. To scroll by and not engage in things that make you feel bad, that's an act of kindness to yourself as well as to the other person because you're never gonna change your mind. Our job isn't to change other people's minds and opinions and beliefs. Our job is to manage and control and choose and live out our own values and beliefs so uh, that's an act of kindness to ourselves as well as to others besides we get to set the example for other people how to be kind and again kindness is contagious just like evil is contagious and uh, crime and things are contagious kindness is even more powerfully contagious than the negative things so put more kindness into the world into your life the world around you and see if you don't get a lot more kindness back in your life so I have got a gazillion things to do I've got lots of client calls and things today uh, working on some big projects that are again almost always confidential which I hate to say because I what I need to start doing is pulling the lessons learned out of what I'm doing and share those without divulging anybody's information or confidentiality. I mean, there's lots of ways to do that. Uh, and I, I wanna do more of that, but I need to know what do you wanna know about? What do you wanna hear about? Uh, what kind of projects are you interested in that you'd like to know? How do we make some of these things work? Just hit me up in the comments below and let me know. Otherwise, have an awesome day and I will do it tomorrow.